Hello traders, FS Percoletti here. Today is Monday, July 15th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on the dollar cat, I still think this is five ways up for A, and I think we're currently in a way B. I think this is an A of B, this is a B of B, and we are going to end up going down for a wave C of wave B before we actually continue up and make another uptrend for the bigger wave C. Which would make this a wave A, this is a wave B, and this would be a wave C of either ABC of 2 or ABC of B. So keeping that in mind, let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I'm definitely still looking at this as possibly a nice downtrend for a wave A. I still think this may already have completed a pattern for a wave B. I still think this is likely a 1, a 2, and that we're likely to just keep on trending down for eventually a wave 3, a wave 4, and a wave 5 of wave C, which is a wave C of wave B. So keeping all that in mind, let's head down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, you have to realize that the dollar cat has literally been in a sideways channel for about over two months, going on three months now. Until we get a real good conf confirmation with a nice big solid break and hold, you really can't say that it's actually going down yet. Definitely looks like a wave one, a wave two, and it definitely to me looks like it needs to break out and go down for a wave three. So heading down to the 4 hour time frame, on the 4 hour time frame, I actually went sort this one on dollar cad because to me it definitely does look like an A, it looks like this could be a wave B, this actually may have already made a wave C, the nice 38% Fibonacci bounce, looks like we have the end of a crutch and it looks like we're back into the downtrend. So keep taking it right down to the 1 hour time frame, the one thing I don't really like about it is that this right here is definitely 1, 2, 3 waves up, but we got a nice and positive move down right at a Fibonacci level, we got a nice break of structure, now it definitely could go up, but I think there's a pretty good chance even if it does go up it may end up making a lower high, lower high, it actually looks to me like this right here is the end of a crescent on the 4 hour time frame, and if it is, then it definitely should make lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high on this one hour time frame. So I would definitely be looking for sorts at the end of pullbacks uh, for the continuation of this downtrend, which hopefully it just takes right off like this. But if it does give us some more pullbacks, it may actually give us a good chance to get in again for the continuation of the downtrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked over here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you'd like to get access to my daily live Zoom meetings and my swing trade setups. As always, thank you and happy trading.